Hi guys and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look um, at building a, sing a simple application that plays the video um, using a file that's on a server somewhere. Um, and we're going to be making use of the media player framework to be able to do that in iOS. So let's get started uh, building something simple. All right, before we write any code, I just wanted to point out the version of Xcode that I am currently using. I'm using version 4.5.1, as you can see on screen. So as long as you've got this version or something later, um, you should be able to follow this video just fine. All right, so let's get started. So I've, of course, got Xcode up and running here. I've, got, um, I've gone to File, New Project, and I'm now being asked to select a template for my application. And I'm just going to pick, um, under iOS, this single view application, because that's really all we need. I'm going to hit Next. It's going to ask me what I would like to call my project. I'll just call it Video Player. Uh, it seems like a simple enough name. And we are going to set our device to iPhone and we're going to leave use automatic reference counting checked. So let's do that and hit next. It's going to ask me where I'd like to save it. I'll just create it on my desktop for now. And here we go. Okay, if I try to expand my project, it should um, prompt Xcode to do some indexing and there we go, it's finished that. So our first step here is to actually import the uh, media player framework um, and the way we do that is we select the name of our project and that should open up this central area here with a bunch of different tabs we want the option called build phases right and then within build phases you'll notice that there's a couple different accordions we want the one that's called link binary with libraries so we expand that and you'll notice that there's already a couple uh, frameworks um, added. Uh, this is just uh, right out of the box when you use that template. And we want to add one more called the Media Player Framework. So to do that, what I do is I hit the plus symbol, which opens up this window, and then I just start typing in media. And there we go. Um, don't even have to type it in all the way. We get three values returned. Um, the one we're looking for is actually this one in the middle, which is called media player framework. So we select that and hit add and that adds the framework to our project. Okay. Now what we'll want to do from here is we also want to jump into our view controllers header file and we want to be able to do an import to make sure we've got all the necessary files we need to be able to work with the media player framework. So we do an import. We want the second option. I'm going to start typing in media and there we go. Xcode knows what we want and will uh, complete that for us. So command S to save. Okay, with that done, what we want to do next is we want to create a property for something called an MP movie player controller. So we'll say at property, non-atomic, set it to strong, and let's create a MP movie player controller object. We'll just call it something as simple as maybe movie player, command S to save jump over to the view controllers implementation file and remember just because we created a property here we also have to synthesize it so we can use it synthesize and we call that movie player there I give myself some space and that's it okay so with that done we're actually ready to start um, you know allocating some memory for this instance of our MP movie player controller class so what we'll do is we'll come down to our viewed load method and I'm going to remove this comment and we're going to first of all um, create the movie player controller and um, and then basically load it with an NS URL so I guess to back ourselves up just a little bit here what we probably need to do first is create the NS URL object the NS URL object is really what's going to hold the URL to our file on the server so let's do that so we'll do an NS URL I'm just going to call it something as silly as URL and we're going to say nsurl alloc and we are going to init and there's a couple different methods and the one we want is called init with string and then of course you can see that this particular method takes an ns string as a parameter so we'll just provide it one for now and command s and now i've set this to an empty string or a blank string or whatever you want to call it but i'm going to go back and put in the URL to the video um, on this public web server that I know of that works fine here. But before I do that, I wanted to point out to you 
what kinds of video you could actually use. So let's jump back to our view controller's header file. I'm going to put my cursor over the MP Movie Player controller class name, and you'll notice that I've got um, this particular editor, the utilities editor, open. And if you don't see it, all you have to do is click this third button and it'll come up. And when you've got your cursor over the class name, uh, you'll get the quick help section. And within the quick help is a link um, to the MP Movie Player controller class reference. So let's click on that and that should open up Organizer. Now if we scroll to the bottom in Organizer, there is, or sort of to the middle section here, you'll see a particular area called Supported Formats. And this is where sort of I wanted to bring your attention to. Uh, if you take a look at this, you'll see some of the file formats that are supported in iOS and also the encoding that it requires. So this is an area that you really want to think about because your file, your video file, needs to meet these requirements if you want to play them within iOS. Um, now the file that I'm going to use is on a public server and um, uh, I know for a fact because I've worked with it before that this file does work. Um, so this will be fine as an example but you probably want to use your particular file. So let me go ahead and copy um, this particular URL, just off the side, and put it in here. Okay, there we go. So that's the file that I'm going to be using for this example. Okay, from here, what we want to do next is we want to create our movie player controller object. So we'll just say movie player is the MP movie player controller class, alloc and then we're going to init with content URL. And notice that the parameter that this takes, uh, the value is basically an NS URL. And what we can do now is we can take this NS URL that we just created and pass that in here. So all we have to do is type in URL and, whoop, let me move this back up. Try this again, URL, and then of course finish that with a semicolon. And we now have um, completely in instantiated and allocated some memory for our MP Movie Player controller object called Movie Player. Okay, with that done, we are well on our way to being able to use this, so we have to do uh, a couple more things. So let's maybe put in, I like commenting my code, I think it's uh, a good practice. So let's just say here, create our Movie Player. Then what we have to do is we may want to actually um, have the movie player take up a particular area within our view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set its frame. So the way I do that is I say movie player, and then I call a method called set frame. Whoop, actually I need to do it on movie player's view. And then I can say set frame, and it takes, as you can see, a CG rect. Now I can say create one here, I'm going to use the CG rect make function and you see that it takes a couple different values and I've got some preset values that I like to use that I know will work for our example so I'm going to set this to 20, 100, the width I'm going to set to 280 pixels um, and 150 and that should allow us to create that on screen and then we also need to add this particular movie player dot view as a sub view so the way we do that is we say self dot I've got upper caps lock on, so your self dot view, and we add a sub view, and the UI view that we need to pass it in will be movie player dot view. All right. So this is required because we need to be able to add the um, the movie player um, to the current view itself, so we can actually see it. Okay. At this point, I can technically. Um, go ahead and run this application, build and run, and you should see the video playing uh, within the simulator. But I want to do a couple additional customizations, so let's just do some additional customization. So a couple things that I can do from here. I will do one, I want to make sure um, that I have the ability to do full screen, so we can say movie player dot full screen set to yes, there's a boolean value. Then if you're familiar with Apple technology, you know that there's something called AirPlay, which allows you to basically send video from your device, um, from your phone or your iPad to a TV that is um, connected to an Apple TV device. So if you want to allow that, that's called AirPlay. And we can say movie player dot allows AirPlay. And let's go ahead and set that to yes. It's never a bad thing. Um, 
Uh, we can also say, do we want it to autoplay once we've got this set up? So we can say movie player dot should autoplay, and we will set that to yes as well. These are all Boolean yeses, of course. And um, the other thing we can do is we can say we can set something called a control style property, which allows us to determine whether or not the, how the controls are displayed on screen. So there are a couple different values you can set this to. Um, so we start typing MP movie control style default control mode volume only embedded. So I'm going to choose the val option called embedded. You're welcome to play around with these um, and see which one works best for you. And at this point, we can actually say Command S to save and Command R and build and run our application. So let's see what we get um, with the code that we've written. So here we go. We've got our movie, and it uh, looks like it's slightly off center. So we may want to change that, of course. But you see here that I've got uh, some controls on screen, um, and I can keep those there. Um, let me go ahead and stop this and maybe change this control style to control style default. Do a command S and run this again one more time. And let's see what we get uh, this time. So it's still a little bit off center, but now you can see that the video file is playing like it's supposed to. We've got some controls on screen that allow us to pause and play this. I can also scrub through if I so desire. Uh, now, of course, if this being off, off center is tied to how I've drawn this particular um, file, but you can always change that by changing these values. In any case, I hope this shows you how you can play uh, video from a file that's on a server. Um, just the, like I said, the quick tips that I want to leave you with are, of course, don't forget to take a look at the organizer um, to make sure you see what the supported formats are. And if you're using automatic reference counting, it's absolutely crucial that you use a property when you are instantiating your MP movie player controller, right? So those are the two things sort of as takeaways. Um, I hope this was helpful and good luck implementing video in your application. Thanks for watching.